What's going on YouTube? My name is iTalk. Here. And in today's video, we have a brand new video. So season eight is in two days. So what I do at the end of every season is I go over every single skin that was in the battle pass. And I also go over every skin that came out in the item shop. Now, luckily, I don't need to use PNG pictures to show you the skins. I actually own every skin that came out during season seven. So I'll show you a quick little turnaround with every skin. And I'll just give you guys my quick thoughts and opinions on everything I thought about this battle pass and all the skins we got. So starting off, we had Zenith as one of the starting skins. And in my opinion, Zenith was pretty underrated. I didn't see a lot of people actually use this skin, unfortunately, which is kind of sad because it does have a lot of cool customizable styles to it. But besides all that, I don't know. I think it kind of fell short with a lot of people. Uh, then we had the Lynx skin, which arguably is probably one of the best starter skins we have seen in Fortnite Battle Royale Battle Pass history, honestly. Really good. Love the black. Really, really good. Also, the tail was an interesting addition to the skin. And then we had Sergeant Winter, which I like this skin a lot. It's Santa. And the edit styles are good. I, But for whatever reason, I kind of like the original style more than the edit styles. But it's cool to have options. Next we have is the Powder Skin, which came with a customizable edit style if you did the overtime challenges. And the edit style is amazing. The black and white and red really suits her really well. I love what they did with the edit style, and I'm glad to have it. Next we had was the Trog skin, which the Trog skin was interesting. It was kind of one of those troll skins that we got for the battle pass, but the edit style is pretty interesting. I like the original more though, but once again, glad to have options when you have them, right? Next up we had was the Onesie skin. Now this skin was extremely hyped up because a lot of people really wanted it in the item shop because it was leaked a long time ago, but then it became a battle pass skin. It's great. I love it. A lot of people love the skin. The winter outfit is adorable. They are both great styles, and I'm glad to have both. Then we had the Ice King, which was the tier 100 skin for this season. And honestly, it's pretty good. A lot of people don't like it. And I think the reason why is because it's a little bulky. And I've noticed this with a lot of people. A lot of people don't like bulky skins. They like very slim you know, not super crazy looking skins or anything like that. So I think a lot of people did not like the Ice King, even though I still liked it. And I love the edit styles with them and everything. So the first item shop skin we got for this season was the Waypoint skin. And it's great. I don't really have much else to say about it. It's a police officer, basically. Looks great. Love everything about the outfit. And yeah, I can't, I, I'm glad I got it when it first came around. The blue one is really good and matches a lot, and I honestly do like the skin a lot. Next we have is Tinsel Toes, and this skin is actually really cute, and I don't know why people don't really like this skin. This is one of the first new skins that came out for the Christmas update, and I'm really happy to have this skin, and I don't know why people don't really like it. Next we have is Red Nose Ranger, which a lot of people don't like. I don't really like it either, it's kind of troll. It's just a skin to not really take seriously. Next up, we have his Honor Guard, which this skin is for the Honor Guard promotion. This skin is very unique. It's a blue Overtaker, so yeah, actually, never mind. It's not really that original at all, but it's still a pretty cool skin to have. Next up is the Prisoner skin, which has four edit styles, which is amazing. I'm glad we have edit styles with some of these skins, especially when we get them for free. I think it's really cool that they do that, and it's cool. This is probably, like, the best challenge week seven challenge skin that we had to get this season i think this is probably the best one we've had it just they put a lot of work into this one i'm really happy with it next up is the frozen legends pack so frozen love ranger frozen raven and frozen red knight overall this was a set you had to cop 25 dollars for 60 dollars worth of skins that were so they were three legendaries was totally worth it in my opinion i like all three all three of them are really good. They go well with a lot of Frozen, like, skins. It really goes well. All, like, all this, like, goes well with, like, Glimmer. It goes well with, like, a lot, like, Krampus. It goes well with a lot of the Christmas skins we got this year. So, I don't know. It was, like, you got these back blings and you got these cool skins that could coincide with the other skins we got for Christmas. So, in my opinion, I thought these were actually really good and they were, it was a steal. We have the Tech Ops skin. Extremely underrated military skin. I don't know why many people don't like it. It's one of my personal favorites, actually, and I'm glad I really do have this skin. We also have the Cobalt skin, which was the starter pack skin for this season. It was, the, uh, I believe it was the fourth one. Really cool. I like it a lot. Uh, the back bling is pretty small. I don't put it, I didn't put it on the skin for the video, but it's a really small riot shield. It's a little too small, though. But overall, I think the skin itself is really good. Next up, we have is Cloudbreaker, a skin that, again, I don't think anyone really knows that this skin was out. 
it's pretty good. It goes well with all the back blings that came with the aviation set. So with Maximilian and the one other skin, you could uh, match these back blings. Airheart. You can match those back blings with these skins, which is really cool. So we had uh, the Maximilian skin. We have the Airheart. Now this is Cloudbreaker. And then the next skin we have is Wingtip. And Wingtip matches with all those back blings as well. So if you got all four of the aviation set skins, you can mix the two back blings that came with the first two with these two, which is cool. And I like these skins. They're very formal. These kind of fit the airplane vibe of Season 7, even though, again, not many people even like the planes. But still, I thought that these were really clean and good skins, honestly. Next up we had was Slushy Soldier, and we saw the skin in the Season 7 trailer. Great skin. I actually love the colors on this skin. The blue, the red, the white. The blue is really good. The blue is just really, it just stand, stands out a lot. And I just really like this skin a lot. I, I don't know if people don't like this skin or not. I, don't, I haven't really seen too many people talk about it, but I think it's a really good skin. Uh, then we had the Insight skin. Now, this skin was also pretty good. I liked the blue on this as well. The, the, the back blink was okay. It doesn't really go well with too many skins. But the skin itself, I really like ghillie suits, so obviously I would like the skin. And honestly, it's pretty good. I can't really deny that. Then we had the long shot skin, which is the male equivalent to the, uh, the Insight skin. And again... It's pretty good. Little bulky. He seems a little bigger than usual, like, for a typical guy skin, honestly. But, I still think the skin looks good. Again, it's a ghillie suit, and I think it looks fine. Next we have is Crackabella. Now, this is the female Nutcracker skin that we got. And we got a little cute little Nutcracker back bling with it. It's good. I think this is actually a pretty good skin. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people call it Hillary Clinton, because, let's be honest, it does look like Hillary Clinton. It looks like a me. It looks like a me character from, like, you know, the Wii and stuff like that. I don't know. I still like how grand it looks. I can't really deny that. Uh, then we got Grimbles. I forgot to put the back bling on this on the skin. My bad. Uh, Grimbles, man. Um, I don't really know what to say about this skin. It's very bizarre. The only edit style it comes with is red eyes, which is very disappointing. I don't know why. the The difference between the red eyes and the regular eyes aren't even that big of a difference at all. The skin's kind of creepy, and I like I like the blue. I like the uh, the 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 I don't even know what kind of color you would call that. Like that that orangish red he's got on his pants, maybe orangish black, reddish black, maybe. I like that color, but besides that, I don't know. I feel like the skin is a huge disadvantage because the head is so big. Ah, I don't know. Next we have up is Krampus. I know a lot of people don't like the skin. I actually like it though. I like how it looks. Uh, 2,000 V-Bucks, a little steep for the skin, though, I will say. The horns are really cool. I like the goatee he's got on. The, the tongue is kind of gross. I will admit that. The brat bag is okay. I don't mind the skin too much. It's alright. Next we have is Glimmer. And Glimmer, again. 2,000 V-Bucks for this? Ah, I don't know about that one. Uh, Glimmer is a decent skin. This came out on the 24th of December. It's okay. I don't like much of the set. I do like the skin, though. It is pretty okay, but the harvesting tool is kind of eh. And the glider, no way. I was not going to get that glider. Next we have is Fish Stick. This has quickly became everyone's favorite skin. It's only been out once, and it was only out for a day, too. For a new skin, usually new skins last two days. This one only lasted one. People really want the Fish Stick to come back, and I can understand why. It's a pretty good skin. I like it a lot, and I wish, you know, they actually kept it around for a little bit longer than just a day. And I like it, and that's pretty much it. I don't have much else to say about it. It's a fish. Next we have is Cloak Shadow. Again, this was kind of hyped to be a skin that people really wanted to come back. And then it came back recently, which is good. Cloak Shadow, to me, is pretty interesting. I love the brown boots on him. The brown boots really coincides with his dark figure and the the red and gold uh, and the rope around his waist it looks really good i actually like how simple this skin looks and i don't really know what the general consensus is for this skin but i think it's personally pretty good next we have a sugar plum a lot of people don't like it i do though i think the colors on her is really good and there was a thing where if you had your settings on low her shirt would turn black which is interesting but regardless, I still think the skin is actually pretty good, and I'm glad to actually have it. Next we have is Disco Diva. The back bling disco ball, 
pretty sick. Goes with any skin you want because it there's no colors associated with it. But Disco Diva was a huge surprise to many because a lot of people thought that the Sparkle Specialist was the female, you know, Funk Ops. But now we got Disco Diva now. So now we have three people in that set and it's really cool to have. Next we have is DJ Bot. And this skin came out, I believe, during New Year's. And, man, a lot of people don't like it because it looks... It's just like a big furry. That's all people see the skin as. I think it's really flashy, and I do actually like the skin for its flashiness. But besides that, what I... If I didn't have the money to buy every skin in the game, I would not buy it. Next up is Snowfoot. This skin is pretty interesting. I like the back bling a lot, surprisingly, even though... I didn't think I was going to like the back playing that much. But overall, I think the skin is actually pretty decent. I don't see anyone using it, but I still like the way the skin looks. Next we have is the Maven skin, which I remember a lot of clickbaiters were saying this was going to be free again. And I keep telling people don't support fake content and don't listen to fake content because it'll most likely just trick you in the end. This was not a free skin. But the next skin we were going over was free if you had P PlayStation Plus, which is the Prodigy skin. But Maven, it's great. I love how simple and nerdy it looks. The back bling is great. And Prodigy is also pretty good. I like the way this looks. It's a, ner it's a nerdy guy. You know, it, it, I like the design on his vest. I like the red. I like the tabulator. The back bling is really good. And everything just screams nerd about both of these skins. And I'm glad to have both. I recently linked up my PlayStation and my Xbox and my Switch, so now I have, like, all the exclusive skins, finally. And I like the skin a lot. Next up is Ark. Ark is an interesting skin. Kind of reminds me of Mercy from Overwatch, not gonna lie. But overall, I think it's pretty good. Uh, I like the Septum piercing she has. The Halo is cool. The wings are nice. But besides that, I think that's pretty much all I could say about her. It's just a pretty okay skin. Um, I do like the way it looks, though, so I can't really complain too much about it at all. Next we have is Lace. Oh my god, Lace is one of my favorite skins we got this season. Actually, if I'm thinking about it, maybe. I think Lace is my favorite skin we actually got in Season 7. Uh, Lace is a great skin. The black and pink look really good on her. The dragons on the middle of her shirt is pretty interesting. The hair is amazing. The stockings are great. The boots are sick. The back bling is great. Easily top 5 favorite skin. I'm glad that we just got the skin recently again in the item shop as well. Next we have is Paradox. I like it. A lot of people don't. Back bling, not that great, but the skin itself is really menacing, and I like anything with a mask on it, so easily if it has a mask, I'll probably like it more than the usual skin. And no complaints with me, I like everything about it, the shoes are interesting, the pants are cool, the, the trench coat is sick, I like it. Next we have is Verge. Interesting skin again, it's a, you know, just a black simple hoodie with a black vest, black pants, silver boots, you know, silver hair, silver, like, you know, black mask, pretty... Simple, but it's an 800 V Bucks skin, so obviously it was gonna be pretty simple, and I like it. I think it's actually pretty good. Next we have is the Jaeger skin. Uh, a lot of people don't like the Jaeger, and I know a lot of people probably don't like the Fyra because these skins are very out of nowhere. They're caveman skins. They're not super. I mean, they're original. Don't get me wrong. They're very original, but it seems like a lot of the community just doesn't like these skins a lot. The fire is pretty fire, though. I will say I like the fire skin a lot, but the Jaeger, I don't think anyone likes him. He's too bulky. No back blings really fit on him very well at all. And speaking of that, his back bling itself is terrible because it doesn't go on. It kind of floats on everyone's back because of how big his back is. So... Overall, pretty disappointing set from a lot of people, but I don't really mind these skins at all. Next we have is the Ice Queen, which recently got edit styles, which is awesome. And the Ice Queen was pretty okay. I like the way it looked, but now that we have these edit styles for the back bling and the skin itself, it's pretty cool. I'm really happy with it, and I'm glad I finally have it. It's, it's probably the best female counterpart to a skin from the Battle Pass that we've gotten so far. Because... Ragnarok, the, you know, the Valkyrie skin that, you know, was the female Ragnarok, it's not that great in my opinion. And like all the other ones that we ever get for like a, a female to male counterpart tier 100 skin haven't really been great. I mean, I guess Red Knight compared to Black Knight is pretty dope. But besides that, I don't know. Next we have is Volley Girl. Overhyped, but I still think it's a very good skin. The back bling is very cool, very colorful, goes well with a lot of my skins, including Power Cord. 
And Volley Girl itself was very overhyped, like I said. A few streamers got it early. It was for some Australian tennis open event thing that happened. I don't really know. I don't really follow that kind of thing. But overall, Volley Girl was interesting. I like the way it looks, and I like the model on it. But besides that, I just don't see myself using it very often. Next, we have his Malcor. And this skin is... Cool. I actually like the skin. The, the blue skin is really unique. The wings are dope. Dude, the boots are the best part of the skin, in my opinion. The boots are menacing, dude. I love them. And it's pretty good. I don't mind the skin very much at all. I think it's pretty good. Next we have is the Cabby skin. And Cabby is interesting. It's the, it's the male equivalent to the Whiplash skin. It's a Jonesy skin, so a lot of people like it. It's cool. I like it. It's very clean, very simplistic. I don't mind it. It's harmless. It's good. Next we have is the Marshmallow. Very, very, very surprising that we got this skin. I love it. No back bling, but it is one of the best reactive skins we've had in the game. I think it's probably the best reactive skin, period. You know, it lights up whenever there's a song playing or an emote being played. Very cool. Awesome to have it. Glad we have this skin. Next we have is Firewalker. Very interesting skin. Again, this was encrypted. A lot of people had no idea we were getting this skin because, like I said, it was encrypted. So you couldn't find this in any of the leaks or anything. It's a very interesting skin. The shorts are kind of weird on him. He kind of looks like a kid. And he has like a 12 pack too, which is also very weird. But I like it. It's very troll. And I'm very happy to, to have it. Next we have is Snow Strike. Interesting skin. The back bling, I, it's okay. I don't think it matches very well with many skins, to be honest with you. But the skin itself is very clean. I like the way it looks. I have no why this did not come back with the Snowfoot skin, but I still think it's a very good skin. Next, we have his Kit Bash, or Bastion from Overwatch. He's even got little Ganymede on his shoulder, the banana peel. Pretty much the exact same thing. Besides it feeling like a pretty much carbon copy of a Bastion skin from Overwatch, I still think the skin is very good. Trash load is great, and I love all the small little de details they put on the skin. Next we have is Spark Plug. I like the way she looks. The back bling is kind of eh. It's the Junkyard Dog from, you know, Junk Junction, but I like the skin a lot as a whole. It's just clean. I don't really have much else to say about it. It's just good. Next we have is Heartbreaker, which is another Llama Head skin, which we don't get these very often, but I like it. This is a good skin, in my opinion. The black and red really suit them well. The back bling is very cute, and I like it. It's a really interesting skin. Next we have is Scully. Scully has two edit styles, which is awesome for a 1200 v buck skin. She's got this style, and then she has this one that I'll show you on screen right now. Very cool. I like both the styles. They are both really cool. You can pretty much... They're, they're very interesting colors. The hair is cool. I don't have much else to say about it. It's a very interesting skin, though. Next we had was the Fallen Love Ranger. Awesome, awesome Love Ranger skin. This is the third skin that we got for the Love Ranger series, which is very bizarre. We would have so many of these. But Fallen Love Ranger is easily the best one. Now, maybe, maybe not in terms of the wings, because, you know, everyone likes the Love Wings a lot. Even the Frozen Wings are pretty good. But as a skin itself, I think it's the best one. Next we have was Little Whip, which the back bling is actually reactive to your health. When you heal your health, not your shield, you actually get some slush poured out from the machine, which is the back bling. I don't know why they didn't say that, because it makes the skin a lot better with this back bling. But the skin itself is very creative. You don't even need to run a back bling on the skin low-key. You really don't. And I like it a lot. I think the skin is really cool, and I'm glad to have it. Next we have is Deep Sea Destroyer. Now, I'm pretty much going to pair Deep Sea, Deep sea Destroyer and Deep Sea Dominator together because, let's be honest, they're basically the same exact skin, which is, honestly, it's not that it's disappointing, but this really gives you no reason to buy both of these skins because of how similar that these two skins look. If you like males, you buy the male one. If you like females, you buy the female one. That's basically it. The back blings are basically the same. The, fe the, the, the male and female like, look of it are basically the exact same. Disappointing, I would say maybe a little bit, but I still think they're both really cool and really creative skins. I just wish one male or one of the, the female or the male were a little bit more different, so it would justify you buying both of these skins instead of just only one. Then we had the Revolt skin, which I love this skin a lot. It's awesome. Comes with a board bag, back bling, a skateboard. Awesome, awesome skin. I like this more than the female, unfortunately. I love goth girls, and the fact that I'm picking this one over Rebel 
it just it hurts me a lot to say because like I said I really am into you know skins like that so it as much for me as it pains me to say is that rebel I like the skin the the purse on the butt kills it 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 doesn't it doesn't match the legs are a little weird for on her honestly I don't know why they put a purse on her butt it looks terrible I wish they would get rid of it because that that just kind of kills the skin for me but besides that, guys, that is every single skin that came out during Season 7, as well as the Season 7 Battle Pass skins. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know with a like. I won't beg for it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on the bell just to get all my latest uploads. And comment down below, what do you think about all the skins we got during Season 7? And me, personally, I thought that they were very okay. Nothing crazy this season. We did have some pretty good ones, but besides that, they were all not the greatest, I would say. Follow me on Twitter at italkfortnite, join the Discord. If you would like to use me for support or creator, the code is italkfortnite and you'll be supporting me whenever you buy anything from the item shop. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you all later. See ya.